Hi, and welcome along to the North Lodge Cottage Garden. The next rose I'd like to talk to you about is something that has been very difficult to film. And in fact, this has had more takes and more, more restarts than any video I've ever filmed. I've actually talked to you about this rose before, back in 2021, and offered you a full review of it then. It's not a rose that's new to me, and it's certainly not a rose that's gonna be new to many of you growing along at home, but it's certainly something that I wanted to mark and talk to you about so you actually know what's gone on. This rose was launched and introduced by David Austin Roses in 2002, and used to be called Mortimer Sackler. Named after Mortimer Sackler, in the Sackler family, part of the um, huge American drug and pharmaceutical giants. The family now utterly disgraced for what they did with uh, Oxycontin and the production of that particular drug and the enormous dope problem that caused in America. I'm really glad that David Austin chose to remove this rose from the market during the winter of 2021 and rename it quietly in their catalogue with something more meaningful. It would have been a real shame for this rose to be completely lost and never used again. It's a beautiful climbing rose reaching around 12 feet that has the most wonderful characteristics of these lovely nodding true pink heads, which once up to about seven or eight feet high, nod down towards the ground with a beautiful characteristic. They nod away in the wind quite beautifully. A true pink flower, which is semi-double, three or four rows of petals give her that, double, that lovely double look without having too many petals that they look over congested. Another thing to bear in mind with this particular one is it's virtually thornless, which for a climbing rose is a really nice addition. It flowers all the way through the summer, starting with a large flush of blooms in mid to late June, and then a smattering of flowers all the way through the season to the end of September. I have mine planted here at North Lodge on a trellis where I've paired it with a lovely striped dark cerise pink clematis that flowers in July. So once this has had its first flush and then goes into that smattering of blooms, the, you are then left with the clematis flowering in July and then that lovely contrast all the way through. But Mary Delaney has a very, very unusual foliage. It's very, very dark matte green with an olive tinge to it. The stems are also very, very dark with this lovely dark olive green color to them very slender and completely and utterly thornless. It's an absolute joy to handle. Actually, there's no thorns on any of the three stems I've decided to cut and bring into you today. Other thing to bear in mind is it's a very nicely fragrant climbing rose with a lovely heady mirth fragrance with tones of citrus, which are slightly sweeter. So there's bits of uh, citrus and lemon drops, uh, and sherbet lemons tucked in the back there. So a really, really nice rose that I just wanted to recap with you, perfectly sized for most people's domestic gardens, reaching 12 feet, repeat flowering, no thorns, which is a benefit. If you want to watch another fuller review of this rose, please do watch the review I did last year under its old name, Mortimer Sackler, but now known through across the website and in the David Austin catalogue as Mary Delaney. And I'm really glad this rose didn't get completely cancelled because it is a beautiful rose that David Austin should be really, really proud of. And something if you have a small domestic garden, you're looking for a rose to put into uh, up the front of your house or cover an outbuilding or several fence panels, something you really should consider but one of the only roses that I've ever known that's had its name changed uh, very, very quietly and discreetly, but something you should be aware of. So many of you don't go rush ordering it, uh, thinking, oh, another rose for me to add to my collection, because you may already have the old rose Mortimer Sackler, but exactly the same variety, the same beautiful rose, but now known as Mary Delaney.